So. You're living in the year 2050. Robots have taken over 40% of the jobs. Overpopulation and underpaid workers are slave to the wealthy. You were studying for a job previously fought safe from the grasp of automation back in 2020. Alas, robots have taken over and you're left on the side of the street, leaving in a cardboard box. Crime is rampant. You observe desperate people trying to take money from the luckier people. You actually got jobs. I know undoubtedly that none of us want that scenario. I also know that everyone in this room is a spectacularly talented person who can do wondrous things. But I don't want that opportunity to be squandered by quickly advancing technologies where jobs become a dice roll. I believe that most countries' a capitalistic nature needs to change desperately so we aren't forced to be enslaved by mega corporate overlords. One method I propose is implementing a UBI into our society. Now you may be going, Oh Mitchell, what's a UBI? Well you see dear viewer, a UBI is a universal basic income for everyone participating in the program. Everyone involved gets a stipend providing a certain amount of money over a certain period of time. In most cases it's a thousand dollars monthly. A UBI has many positives towards society. For starters it can provide leverage for people who are unhappy with their jobs and can allow them to find better suited jobs for themselves. This would be especially helpful when robots eventually push someone out of a job in the name of automation. Another major thing that UBI could do is increase financial security. As of right now, financial security is one major contributor to depression. If this goes through, it could lower suicide rates whilst also decreasing the amount of money a government must spend to provide these services. However, you may be asking, won't a UBI make people less incentivized to work? My answer to this is a well-resounding yes. However, this is a good thing because this opens up more jobs for people who want to work for their extra money, whilst also compensating for the mass automation of tons of jobs. Simultaneously opening up more jobs for people who actually work, want to work for society, a UBI would also increase productivity. This is because the people who have the jobs are the people who actually want to work and get paid for their efforts whilst also helping society. This has further been proven by tests within North Carolina and Alaska, showing noticeably improved productivity rates. Another strong element of a UBI is how it can open up more opportunities for people. Since people have extra leverage of money, they can deposit it into something like a business. This would allow more ideas to become widespread that could potentially assist the entirety of the world. A supporting factor is how many businesses fail in our current world in just the first year. This is normally because of lack of money. A UBI would perfectly combat this and allow many businesses to continue growing. It's not just businesses that people can start investing in though. With the extra money they could invest in a company like Tesla and hope for mega returns. The ideas of what you can do with the money per month is extravagant. Many countries are already experimenting a UBI system, with mainstream people such as American presidential candidate Andrew Yang trying to bring this spectacular idea widespread. He is the most vocal supporter of this within the United States and is relying on this idea to carry his presidential campaign. Alongside of this, there have been many tests localised within places such as within North Carolina, where they deposit the money from their casino revenue fund into a monthly $1,000 stipend for each citizen. Alaska is also another place attempting its implementation and have been rather successful. Their stipend comes from their oil industry. These countries initially experienced a drop in productivity. However, over roughly a two year time period they had regained that productivity and had a massive drop in crime, likely because less people were desperate for money and also had more businesses begin to pop up. This showcases a UBI system can work effectively in our capitalistic world. A quote, a quote I like to represent UBI perfectly is from the Soviet Union. It goes, down you lie or up you stand, either way you'll earn a grand. It symbolises perfectly what the UBI is about. Equality. The Finish